The, not surprisingly, the initial immunotherapy studies were second line after people had already progressed on chemotherapy. And two phase three trials and one phase two trial randomized with nivolumab, pembrolizumab, and atezolizumab were all positive. And so then, obviously, they moved these into first line. And in first line, um, people with no PDL1 expression were excluded from the trials. And BMS did one trial where people with any positivity were included, any level of positivity, and Merck did two trials. One with people with low positivity, one to 49% of cells positive, and one with high, more than 49% of the cells. And Merck has announced, but hasn't been presented yet, but announced that the high trial, the greater than 49s, was positive. And so people sort of thought, well, probably the any positive trial will be positive as well. And it was announced that that trial was not positive. And like anything, when there's a press uh, release, of course, you don't know all the data. And one of the questions I have is, Originally, most of these trials were designed with PFS as the primary endpoint, and it turns out for immunotherapy, PFS isn't a very good endpoint. And it's possible that that trial could be negative for PFS, but still be positive for, for OS, for overall survival. And it's also positive that the high highs would be like Pembro, where they would have an advantage, but the low highs don't. So it's in a way disappointing, but we don't really have the details to, to know what to do. It, undoubtedly though, there's a trial 227 which is ongoing and probably there'll have to be some modifications of that study.